The Lieutenant Governor of Ontario recently announced the 2016 appointments to the Order of Ontario. Among them was Rick Green of Waterdown, well known for his involvement in History Bites and the Red Green Show. I kept saying I won it. It's You get appointed to the Order. It's like Knights of the Round Table with less swords. Around the year 2000, Green's son was diagnosed with ADHD. It was at that time that he noticed that many of the symptoms also applied to him. So I got the diagnosis and not four or five years later, talking to my buddy Patrick McKenna, also from the Red Green Show, who played Harold, he knew it was in his family uh, and it's, it's about as heritable as height. So once I had the diagnosis and saw it in my son, I could see it in my father, my grandfather. Anyway, he got diagnosed on camera. We made a special about it for television and it took off. It ran on PBS. Five or six million people have seen it now. Green would then become an advocate for those living with ADHD, making two films, ADD and Loving It and ADD and Mastering It, and also developing the website Totally ADD to help raise awareness. When you're living with it and it's undiagnosed or you don't, you're not aware, and I hate the word diagnosis because it isn't really an illness, it is a disorder or it causes disorder, but anyway, living with it, life is a struggle. Everything's hard. You can't understand why people can get their taxes done. I finished, I completed 700 episodes of radio and television, writing and acting, and then directing and producing many of them. And yet I always had a feeling of underachieving. That's, there's this universal feeling of it's a struggle. I'm weird. There's something wrong. How can these people sit still? I'd sit through meetings and, you know, I wasn't bouncing off the walls like a kid, but I was inside just going, speed it up. And ADHD can lead to many other issues in life as well. The statistics are frightening. Two to four times the rate of divorce, of STDs, of unplanned pregnancies, of falling, of failing at school, of uh, being fired, of going bankrupt. It, it goes on and on. And even things like, one of the statistics that scared me the most was seven times the rate of multiple car accidents where you're at fault. But Green stresses that once you're aware of your diagnosis, you can learn to manage it and that there are many people doing so successfully. One everyone quotes is Richard Branson. He himself said he has to have people, managers, who after he's got the airline running or the phone company running or the record company running, they have to take it away because he'll just keep fidgeting. It's working, it's great, it's successful. Okay, well, what if we added this? And what if we, because we get bored, mm -hmm. which leads to all kinds of problems when we're bored. If you can find a career where you're constantly jumping into the next thing, you're challenged every day with buy something different and it's not routine, it's awesome. So it doesn't all have to be negative. In fact, there are other positives for those with ADHD as well. Studies have shown, one study done in the University of Memphis found that we are score higher on 11 standard tests for creativity. I couldn't leave Rick without getting at least one anecdote about the Red Green Show. The one he chose to tell was quite fitting for our chat. What I love is there's one of the adventures of with Bill um, where I'm, we're out with bows and arrows and I end up setting my foot on fire and putting an arrow, fi following a bird and then fling and then we look up and the bird flies off and then whoa, 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 <laughs> and that song. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we do all this stuff and it, on that adventure, Red, who's doing Steve Smith, is doing the voiceover and he says, oh, it looks like Bill's having one of his ADD moments. And this was like, I don't know, 1993. Mm -hmm. The Order of Ontario is the province's highest official honour, recognizing excellence and achievement in any field benefiting the people of Ontario or anywhere in the world. And Green is doing just that. Check out his website, totallyadd.com, where he's helping raise awareness for those suffering with the disorder. For Halton Insider, I'm James Spaulding.